Yeah, hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a new tutorial from Web Studio Richter. Today we will have a look again on the topic of images and um, implementing images into your HTML document. And uh, as we had last time um, the topic of responsive images and we used the source set element to realize that, Today we will have a look at some kind of, not such a new technology actually, but still it's not so widespread, especially in the amateur world. And uh, though it's really useful and it's uh, yeah, technically um, well done already and uh, actually as well supported by all kinds of browsers uh, which are used today uh, as well in the mobile world and in the desktop world. So we are talking about SVG. So this is literally, it is scalable vector graphics. So it is a very useful format that you can choose if you want to implement some uh, very fine grained and sharp graphics into your document. You still have the ability to use here now usual pixel element and pixel images which you for example created with Adobe Photoshop but the disadvantage of these images is they are very large if they are very sharp or if they are very uh, big in size so this is always a disadvantage in the world of the web because you have to download it and especially if you are um, in mobile internet, this is not very good for the performance of your website. So here comes SVG into it. topic. So SVG is actually the format um, what some people of you know if you are a desktop publisher or something from Adobe Illustrator. So you are defining pictures by vectors. So this sounds now actually kind of um, yeah, not so usual because, uh, yeah, that's not actually the way how people think about images, but it is actually not very hard to understand. And as always, learning by doing will do the trick here. And I will show you now some basic examples for SVG. So this is not a very deep uh, introduction to SVG. I will give you some links for that if you want to dive into the topic. Uh, a bit more but for the beginning I just want to give you a hint what actually is possible with SVG and with some basic code lines you can do already with it. So let's just start with it. Um, if you want to implement an SVG element into your uh, HTML document you can just do it in line but you can as well just save it in an external file or something like that but this is not in the topic now so you start opening it by the svg element so we close it again and here in the header i will just give you some basic information you define the version, you define the width and the height of your H of your SVG element. So the width we make now 300 pixels and the height we make 200 pixels. Okay. This is already enough to make it working. So let's start now by defining some shapes in SVG. So let's first define a rectangular. So a simple shape. Everybody knows, everybody uses. Let's make this rectangular with a rect element inside the SVG element and give it a width of 100% of the whole. So it will fill up the whole SVG element size. So in this case, 300 pixels and give it a height of 100 pixels. Excuse me, so now... as well 100 pixels, 100%. Uh, so as you see 
by default it's already now black filled but you can of course choose another color by using the fill attribute and you can make it here now mm, white or you can make it blue or you can make it red or whatever you want you can even use HSLA as I already made a tutorial about it so you make a hue of 100 you give it a um, saturation of 100% and the lightness of 0% and no transparency so this is not noting okay so better 50% to see the color actually so you can make it green now or you can make it more blue or whatever you want so this is really easy actually you know it from the world of CSS so we make now here a simple black again and we continue by now actually placing a circle inside this rectangular so it's like you always are working in layers so if you make an element now after this rectangular the next element will lie over the rectangular so that's actually what we want and we open a circle element so to make it clean because it's XM, XML styled we make a closing slash and we make this circle now first we position the position we define we may we want to make it in the center so as we have a width of 300 pixels the center will be 150 and on the y-axis we make the half as well so 100 pixels and we want to have a radius so you see it's very intuitive actually it's r for radius of 90 pixels and we want to fill it so if we can actually see it by the color of white so you see now we are having already the circle so and to finish this up actually our little experiment now is svg here we can fill a text inside these shapes now inside the circle we want to have it and this is easy as well so we have to define it like that so we make a text now here like hello and we position the text now with x and y and we want to position it as well in the middle again and here as well we give it a font size of 40 pixels and we fill it black so I made a mistake here so it's of course Y and now it's not centered actually because as you can see here um, it's like just this point here is now centered so that's where it's starting this X and Y dimensions and we can just simply solve this problem by setting the text anchor by to middle and you see now it's actually middled on the horizontal and as the underline is now just the center we want to have it here in the middle of the text we just correct this here and make it to 110 and now it's centered in the circle so you see this is already actually all about it when it's about some simple shaping with svg it's easy coding it's like very intuitive you are having some shapes rectangular circles you can put text into it and you define the dimension of the 
different shapes and you define the position of the shapes. It's always like vectors are working. We have now here just two dimensions, so the x and the y axis. And yeah, with that you can already make a lot of funny things. Yeah, and to give you some more example, this, this is actually not all. We make another shape now here. And we are opening a new SVG element. We give it again a dimension. So let's make it like the upper one 300 times 200. This shall be enough for now. And let's now start with an ellipse. Another shape you can define by SVG. Close it with a slash and define first the position. The position shall be again like centered from 300, it's 150 pixels and as well on the vertical so this is like 100 pixels and define the vertical dimension of the ellipse so we are having here now 90. So you see it's not just a radius. We have to define two radii because we are having an ellipse. Our y uh, we can set to 60. So you see already it's appearing. And now like with normal CSS you can style this shape. Um, just we fill it mm, like we've done it before with some color so make it yeah actually let's leave it just black mm, semicolon like in css you can give it a stroke black so this is not visible so let's make it blue and give this stroke now a size a width so stroke width of two Okay, let's add a D here. So now you can see there's a stroke around it. Here it's very large now to make it visible. You can set it as you want. Okay, so and as we had it in the other example, we want to place a text into that. Uh, we can just copy it from up and type in here world and we just change the color of the text now to white to make it visible and here it is already okay so and how you can add now some um, polylines or in any way lines to these um, shapes and how you can make polygon shapes you can see in my second part of this tutorial. So I hope you learned something and uh, see you in the next part. Bye.